Much like her art, Susana Arias is a force of nature. Passionate, ebullient, and creative, the Santa Cruz painter and sculptor via Panama has won international acclaim and awards for her work. While the art is memorable, the artist, well, the artist is a rare combination of enthusiasm and brio and just enough TNT to power any loft or studio. Hang around long enough and she will convince you that art is the one true path in life. It's really fun and it's really energy releasing. You can be stressed, get a big wall, put a canvas on it, get some paint, let it ride. While Arias is painting, the only truly amazing thing is that sparks don't just jump off her brush. She can work at a feverish pace, step back, and then attack the canvas like a bulldog going after a $2 steak. She is relentless when it comes to art. Her fervor for her profession probably started when she was a child. Since I was a little kid, I did like to like play with dirt and just touch things and look at things. And I've always been intrigued by nature and little animals and just textures in nature. And I just use a lot of materials. I paint, I sculpt, I, I do clay, I do bronze, I carve. I use acrylics and oils and encaustic painting and I mix the mediums and I do handmade paper. I love, I'm passionate about materials. Arias's bio reads like something out of a mystical Bob Dylan song. The diplomat's daughter of the Panamanian ambassador to the Vatican, Susana spent most of the first seven years of her life growing up in Rome, surrounded by art. I was quite young, uh, but I'd get dragged to every show and every art thing when I was a little kid, and then you just learn to love it. And, uh, and when, when I was older, my parents took me to a lot of art exhibits and mostly theater. The architecture, painting, and sculpture of that ancient city were all part of the rich mosaic of her childhood. However, it wasn't until Arias was in college that she discovered her true calling and that boundless obsession for crafting art that fuels her life. I went to Tulane University mm -hmm. and they have a really good art department. They had a great sculpture instructor, uh, Jules Strupik. He was just very inspirational. And so just being around him made you want to make art. In 1987, Arias was the recipient of a grant by the National Endowment for the Arts for Sculpture. She has continued to paint and sculpt with the same fire and zeal she always displayed, but Arias has also managed to do volunteer work in the local schools, teaching art while giving lectures and workshops at universities, galleries, and museums. Along the way, there were also public commissions, including a Caltrans design winner in Capitola, and a memorable arch that greets visitors when they first enter the Polo Ground State Park in Aptos. Arias is not content to restrict herself to just one project. She seems as if she is always in motion. I just like moving from one medium to another. That way you have no downtime. You get to play all the time. In painting you go, oh, there's a little red line. You go, you grab a little red paint, you do it. With sculpture, you gotta go make the part, go fire it, glaze it, finish it, then you can put it on. Over her career, Arias has been influenced by a number of artists, but the Romanian sculptor Constantine Brancusi holds a special place in her heart. I make these pieces and then I go, oh my God, it's wonderful, I've never seen it before. And then I go, oh yeah, no, Brancusi did something like that, you know? And there's nothing new, and if it's not new to you, I think you should just do it anyway. You know, that's basically, I mean, if it's something that comes out of your soul and you just do it. The famous English sculptor Henry Moore said, there's no retirement for an artist. It's your way of living, so there's no end to it.